It seems like every town has a haunted house and a creepy story that goes with it. Kids all dare each other to go inside, but nobody ever does. Because a friend of a friend knows a guy that went in and never came out. Every town has one, but here in Erie, Simon and I have counted over 50 haunted structures. Today we were checking out number 51. No trespassing. Careful. Quarantine. Condemned. This means you. No loitering? What's that mean, no loitering? Keep moving. Simon and I overheard some of the locals talking about how in the last few weeks they'd seen strange lights and heard voices. The word was to stay away from this joint, which is why we were here. Look at all the bullet holes. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. We got a strict policy about guns, remember? I know. We don't like them. Let's just get some pictures and get out of here. Sometimes I wish we collected stamps for fun instead of battling the forces of weirdness. I caused any inconvenience. The weirdest thing happened down at the World of Stuff. It turns out the reason Radford always acted so weird was because he wasn't really Radford. He was Fred Suggs, compulsive imposter. Evidently, the real Radford had been tied up in the basement the whole time. No need to press charges. Just get him out of here. Well, boys, you're my first customers in quite some time. Drinks are on the house. What do you have? Uh, black cow with a nip of job. Black cow with a nip of java. Ditto. Ditto. Coming right up. Hey, Mr. Radford, how come you aren't pressing any charges against that imposter guy? Well, despite all his faults, that guy was one hell of a salesman. He moved more merchandise in six months with me tied up in the basement than I made in my best year. Just can't find help like that anymore. He knew Mr. Radford. Yes, young man. How are we supposed to know for sure? If you're the real Radford. You don't. Oh, thanks. Another dead soldier. How'd the pictures come out? Everything's in focus and perfectly exposed except for the money shot. You're kidding me. Drat. One black cow, one ditto. Thanks. Say, that's a swell picture of the old Hitchcock Mill. You boys amateur photographers? Sort of. I used to have a dark room myself. Ah, I love the smell of fixer in the morning. Mill is haunted, you know. We know. The story goes back more than a century. Legend has it that the mill is haunted by Grungy Bill. Worst bank robber east of the Mississippi. Really evil, huh? No, the worst. As in no good, incompetent. Don't quit your day job worst. Uh, he was mean, all right, but when it came to robbing banks, well, something always went wrong. If I remember right, he was arrested 12 times. 
Why is he haunting the mill? Of course, you realize there's no such thing as ghosts. Of, of course. course. But the story goes, one day, grungy Bill was robbing the Erie Bank for the 13th time, having already failed 12 times, and, well, this time, he really blew it. What happened? He broke the first rule of bank robbery. He forgot his gun. Forgot, forgot his gun? gun? Big, big mistake. Anyway, Sheriff's posse tracked him down to the mill where they surrounded the place, and shot it full of holes came along with it they say you can see him some nights up at the mill looking for his gun i hate guns of course there's no such thing as ghosts of course you could spend years in the weirdness biz and never come close to a good clean photo of a ghost like grungy bill we had to try again, but this time we were going to be prepared. This damn collecting is looking better and better. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? A paper cut on your tongue? Wait, somebody put that chair back together. Grungy Bill? I'll get a shot of it. Grungy Bill! Grungy Bill! We're calling you back from the beyond, Grungy Bill. Maybe for first William. Maybe he was never here. Here's something. What is it? Some sort of wire and pulley. Hey, freaked up to that chair. Why would a ghost need to do that? A ghost wouldn't. Simon. You're kidding. Get a shot of this. That's not all. Check this out. This is so embarrassing. Ooh, it looks like somebody's been crashing here. There's a sleeping bag and a candle and stuff. Better get snaps of everything for our records. Who'd be crazy enough to live in a haunted house? I mean, besides a ghost. I've got a better question for you. Who would be crazy enough to mess with someone's stuff who's crazy enough to live in a haunted house? Uh, beats me. Well, Simon, guess we better get going. Nobody's going nowhere till we finish little business. Talk to my lawyer. Come on, son. Let us go. We didn't do nothing to you. Shut up, Schippenstein. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a ghost. A ghost? <laughs> you mean this guy? So it was you. Maybe. Maybe it was my evil twin. <laughs> Maybe it was your evil twin. Maybe I'm your evil twin. <laughs> What's with the gray hair? I'm starting a trend. What's it to you? Listen to your mod squad. Everyone in town wants to believe that there's some sort of ghost living here. That's great, because that's exactly what I want them to think. It keeps nosy locals from poking around. As far as you're concerned, you've never been here. You've never seen me. I don't exist. If you do tell anyone about me, you won't exist. Got that? Teenage Mutant Ghostbuster. 
Now give me the pictures and the videotape. Better do it, son. This is one tape that's not gonna be in America's stupidest home videos. I gotta talk to the landlord about these floors. Wait, wait, wait a minute. There's something under here. Check this thing out. Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. What are you, crazy? Don't worry about this thing. It must be a hundred years old. Solid rust. Ain't even loaded. Oh. I hate guns. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Anybody hit? Look. There's my gun. Right where I left. Thanks, boys. I've been looking for Betsy here for a long time. Now, if you don't mind, reach for the sky. I can't believe this. A real live. I mean, a real dead ghost. I knew this town is weird, but this is too much. Philately can be a very rewarding pastime if you give it a chance. Stamps are beautiful. They're a good investment. And they can't kill you like a gun. Cinch that up tight, partner. Can't have these varmints squirming loose and muddying up our plan. Our plan? Hmm? We have a plan? Of course. You don't go robbing the Bank of Erie without a plan. I don't go robbing banks, period. This is getting interesting. Oh, no. The legend. Legend? Really? About me? What the heck are we talking about? Crunchy Bill was the worst bank robber. Hey, whoop, East whoop, whoop there. That's meanest bank robber. Now that we heard it. We heard you tried unsuccessfully to rob the Bank of Erie 13 times. 12. Is this 12? Whatever. Anyway, the last time he forgot his gun. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Besides, that don't matter now. I got me a plan. I spent over 100 years dissecting every detail, every step, thought out to the second. So what is this plan? Well, we ride to the bank, we go inside, we draw our guns, Tell him to give us all the money. What do you think? I think you're an idiot. What? With an incredibly brilliant plan for robbing the Bank of Erie. Hey, uh, Grungy, what do you want to rob a bank for anyway? I mean, what's a dead guy like you gonna do with the money? That gummit, I ain't in it for the money. That is such a common misconception about bank robbers. It's the principle of the thing. How would you like to be known as the worst bank robber east of the Mississippi? Don't you see, I, I got to rob this bank. Otherwise, I'm doomed to wander around here aimlessly for eternity. Or until they demolish the mill for a mini mall, whichever comes first. All right. That's enough jaw boning. There's a bank with my name on it, and we're burning daylight. You. Who? Me? Yeah, you. You're coming with me. Now, you two just cool your heels and we get back. And don't try to stop me, or your friend here gets it. Gets what? Well, you know. Yeah. Marshall, don't do it! Remember our policy! About guns. This kind of stuff happen to you guys a lot? At least once a week. Where's the horses? Horses? 
Well, you've been dead a long time. All we got is our bikes. But we'll walk. Got to get you a disguise. <clears throat> Looks like your friend is headed for Boot Hill. His name is Marshall. And if anybody can get out of it, he will. <clears throat> Big if. What's your name? Simon. What's yours? I wish I knew. You don't know your name? <laughs> How can you not know your name? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, okay. I'll tell you. See, three months ago, I wake up here in Weirdsville, Indiana. And I don't remember anything. How I got here, who I am. Nothing. Zip zero. Not even my own name. Wow. Yeah, no mom. No dad. Just me looking out for myself. I crash wherever I can, and I dumpster dive for food. Why don't you go to the police for help? This town doesn't exactly take kindly to strangers. And in case you haven't noticed, anyone who's even remotely normal qualifies as a stranger around here. I know what you mean. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting out of Dodge. If I were you, I'd do the same thing. What about Marshall? Look, Simon, this isn't all for one and one for all. This is every man for himself. And eerie against all men. But we gotta help him. You can't just leave. Just watch me. Next time you see me, Simon, you don't know me. What would Marshall do? What would Marshall do? I was asking myself that same question. What was I gonna do when I got inside that bank? But that wasn't my only problem. There was the little matter of my disguise. Come on, don't do this. You don't have anything to prove. We can still turn back. Shut up and stick to the plan. I'm robbing this bank if it's the last thing you do. May I help you, miss? Hey, no cut. We gotta wait in line. Back we off. Do. This makes it an even 1,300,000. Oh. It's a sign here. Boy, this is going great. You know what to do, right? I hand them this note. Then when they give me the money, I stuff it in here. God, I love this business. Just think, my little freshness, if you save up enough pennies, you can buy a dolly-sized forever wear tub so your dolly will never age, just like you and Mommy. <laughs> I still don't see what the big deal about a toaster is. We've already got a toaster. Someday you kids are going to grow up and leave us, and when you do, you're going to need a toaster. And you can't beat the price. Just because they give you a toaster doesn't mean I'm going to eat toast. I hate toast. But, sweetheart, you can't beat the price. So, Simon. You, where's Marshall? Marshall? He's, um... I'm not sure. Uh, last I saw, he was nowhere near the bank. Well, if you see Marshall, tell him we're having Swedish toast for dinner. You're invited, too. Thank you, Mrs. Teller. I'll try to make it. Next. May I help you, young lady? Aren't you? No. You should just start with a simple check -in. Would you like me to throw this away for you? Read it. Sidewinder. My gun. I need my gun. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> I ain't leaving without robbing this place. looking girl I've ever seen. 
Next. Well, you got to admit, this is a very nice toaster. I don't know exactly what a toaster does, but I can tell that this toaster does it very well. Can't beat the price. So what do you say, Grungy? Now that you've secured your place in history by robbing the Bank of Erie, why don't you give this ghost thing a rest? And, you know, die. Well, there's the little matter of my gun. Not the G word. Reach for the <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> you again. What'd you do with my gun? Right here. Not my gun. I'm nothing without Betsy. Well, boys, looks like I come to the end of my trail. Oh, don't worry, Bill. Lots of people are just plain dead. You'll make new friends. Adios. Toaster. Cool. That's weird even for us. Don't you think? Hey, where'd that guy go? He's gone. Something tells me that guy's gonna get us in big trouble. And we don't even know his name. That's okay. Neither does he.